Oh well. All right. Peak salt. <laughs> Funny story. So, uh, Peaks is uh, Nintendo yeah, Online Switch expired. Online. So he had to make an alt, use the free trial, and then have to re-unlock all of his mains. <laughs> Which, you know, limits secret counterpicks and stuff. But, you know, yeah. we'll see what happens. So, um, Ellis has also been uh, training with Incineroar recently. I oh. oh! Wait, what?! You get the- you have the DLC from the start. Wait, you do? I yeah. thought I thought it was connected to your Nintendo net. I don't actually know, I don't know about that part, but he if he has the DLC working, then. Oh, and I'm um, also still on the Japanese version. Oh, okay. Okay, well this is gonna <laughs> this will be interesting because I saw Alice's taunt in Japanese. So I'm like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Peak's going banjo, uh, which is interesting. So yeah. no more Roy. Uh, so Maybe far he's been just doing didn't pretty unlock well. Roy in time. Uh, maybe. Uh, but we are seeing Alice Incineroar. Oh. He was actually playing Incineroar with me recently. Uh, something to watch this out for. very interesting to watch because everybody's missing their big hitters. Yeah. Um, the interesting thing about how Alice plays is, uh, he loves to use counters. Go. He's kind of like yeah. icy in a sense, but but uh, Ellis... the counter thing just kind of stays among characters. He does it with Joker too. Yeah, he just really likes to hold down the button. That was a solid Wonder Wing. Peek's doing really well right now. Uh, Ellis pretty much a kill percent. All he needs is a solid attack from his sword, Kazooie. And... Ellis is just trying to counter in the case of anything. Yeah, that's what now he was. Peaks is out of, now that Peaks is out of Wonder Wing, he'll probably try to do it again out of habit. Oh no. Yeah, he's gonna there have to go. recover low. Oh, wait. Oh, did he do. He, actually? Yeah, he tried to Wonder Wing out of habit and oh, died. Oh, that's not good. He had a really good lead and then he just lost it. Um. He's struggling to get a kill here. Ellis just punishing everything. Ooh. Yeah, yes. Ellis likes to do that on ledge. He also likes to uh, cover ledge with and well center he stage. Lived. Yeah, Incineroar was heavy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And his moves have so much, so much ah, area. He landed the forward aerial. <laughs> forward aerial. All right, moving oh. on. All right, he lands it again and again. <laughs> and now he's going for the forward smash. What? I'm not sure if Banjo is gonna apply to Peaks's. Um, game plan of usually spamming aerials since that's what's his... been happening. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Peaks, what are you doing? Stop relying on Wonder Wing. If anything, recover low. It's safer and it doesn't waste a feather. Especially since he's struggling oh. to kill, it would be a great opportunity to use. Oh no! Kill Almost potential. Revenge. Mm. Revenge boosted, but it's way across the stage. That's true. Yeah, but he's and catching he up really quickly. That was a solid lariat. Yeah, Ellis likes to do lariat in the air. Uses another of his wonder wings. He really needs to save his wonder wings for his last Ooh. off. He gets the kill, but he has one more left. He's probably gonna drop. No, uh, all right. I don't know. I don't it's think he just... would do it this close to the edge. All right. Oh okay. no. Activates revenge. Peaks needs Ellis to get, is gonna okay, go for that Peaks side beat. There's Wonder Wing. And there Ellis is gonna go for that side beat to get a flex kill. Yeah, he's playing around ledge. Peaks play he was playing around center stage, which is super smart of him. There he got it. Mm. Oh. Oh wait. No! Oh he missed it! I think he was afraid to air dodge there too, because he was afraid yeah. he would get curb spotted. Especially against Incinero, which would have totally been dead. Yeah. But yeah, Peaks' habits just ate him alive, and that was his downfall. Overall, he had a good start, but yeah, but then it just kind of started snowballing yeah, with his Wonder Wing usage. In a way, he was fighting against himself. Yeah, the aerial spamming habits carried over and it kind of kept going. Mm -hmm. Since a lot of the opening was just both of them throwing out moves, it wasn't like other matches where they would be some, where they would be kind of close to each other and throw out moves. They would just be going across the stage and I throwing mean, out aerials or lariat or anything. I mean, that's 
both of their both of their characters' game plans pretty much. Whether it be oh yeah. maybe not with Joker, but for Snake, uh, Ellis usually for Ellis he's used to pl I, he's more used to playing characters with projectiles that he can actually hit from that far with. Yeah, he he kind of plays in a way where he just wants to zone you out because he uses um, Nikita in neutral. Yeah, which is interesting. As far as Incineroar goes, like, at the end, he was exclusively fishing for side B, and it worked. Yeah, he did that a lot with friendlies against me. Every time, every time he gets, um... Revenge, he's revenge, gonna go for, he's gonna side, go for B. Uh, side B. And then, mm. if he misses, he's most likely gonna go for Lariat. Yeah. He also likes to do double down smash. Oh! Oh, we're Pika seeing too? Pika! Okay? Is this because he hasn't unlocked Roy, maybe? Anyway, this could be interesting because, but it's kind of okay. FD. Um, this actually works in Incineroar's favor. Yeah. I don't know why Peaks would counterpick him to this stage. Yeah, Alice is just oh, counter. No. Oh no. Peaks, uh, please don't do this. Don't he, play with side view like that, please. Yeah, he's just still in Wonder Wing mode. That's not good for any character. Oh no. Oh. Okay, he I believe, was. I can't believe he could actually act out of that fast enough to air dodge away. Especially oh, on Wi Fi. Oh, no. Uh, no, that's actually pretty weak. Even uh, Revenge boosted. Yeah. Yeah, it does about 17 with Revenge level 1. Fuck, dick, but. Alright, Pete's making yeah, him back, have... actually. Yeah. Nice. Alright, he's he's camping. Yeah, he just right, has to get more. Moves in. Yeah, he had to get more used to how Pikachu plays compared to his other characters, but now he's, uh, he's going pretty much better. Now he's just approaching with down air, and he ha he kind of has the same problems Contra has. Yeah. In the, in the sense, every where, landing is a down air. Yep. That's oh yeah. I thought he was gonna live it, but I think he went into the blast zone last second. He can still make this back if he stops using side B, of course. Yikes! That's a solid up smash. Uh, going for thunder. The thunder still hit him. All right, he. Doesn't hit the revenge hitbox, fortunately. Now he's yeah. just camping. He doesn't know how to fight Incineroar. I don't know if he was expecting Snake or something. Now he's off stage. He's in disadvantage. Very scary against Incineroar in this position. Ella's is trying wow, to cover right that side that beat. He's not using up I, smash, which I'm is... not entirely joking when I'm saying he could legitimately just hold forward smash and wait for Ellis to revenge and then just release it. True, he could bait it out, but at the same time, he Ellis has been doing a good job at mixing up Lariat. Yeah, and... that's true. Yeah, all right, he get... oh, oh not my yet. God. Yeah, Pix is just scared right now. He's just throwing hit. Uh, he's just throwing thunder jolts, hoping that Ellis gets stuck in head stun to give Peaks the opportunity to get a kill. But... Ellis form a day two hundred percent. All it's doing. Okay, Aww. there we go. There's the first stock. Ellis was just. All I was doing was giving him rage. That's something you yeah. don't want to do. You don't want to panic against an opponent, especially a heavy who does a lot of damage. A heavy has with revenge. That and he has area. He has a huge area effect on a lot of his moves. Yeah. So it's pretty hard to punish him on Wi-Fi. Larry, Larry has got crazy priority. Mm. Like in the last game, it clanked Wonder Wing. That's wait. Wonder Wing can clank. Apparently, because it clanked on Lariat. Like, it didn't stop the move, but it stopped Lariat and just went through Ellis. Also, I'm pretty surprised that Ellis just didn't use Side B to beat Wonder Ring Wing. Oh, Ellis is dead from that! Neutral Ooh. reset! Alright, interesting! This could be a match to remember! Alright, Peaks just takes 25.2% to the face, almost like a lightning kick. Oh, oh no. gets revenge. Get revenge. He's yeah. gonna go for side beat. Uh, he just has to keep him away. Oh, oh never no, mind. he gets hit, but it's okay. He's across the stage. That's true. Right. It looks like a lot of Ellis's aerial game plan is just using Lariat. Yeah. It also doesn't help that Peaks loves to use his aerial right after hit stun. That is pretty scary because if he gets hit once off stage. Then he's done. If someone can yeah. just edge guard him, that is oh, very no. scary. Don't do that. Uh, okay. Lives. No. Oh. 
I think what Peeks has to do right now is bang that Ellis is gonna do something risky off stage, and then SD for it, like that. Oh man. Oh, what oh. that traded? If anything, he would have died. Peeks needs to stay away from Ellis at ledge because he is definitely gonna fish for that. He's trying to cover layer. Oh. oh my god, my heart is pounding! No. Wait, if he DIs this, uh, no, I don't think even with. DI. It was set in stone. That was really close though. Peaks almost made that back. Yeah. Honestly, he played I think he he played really well. Yeah.